Hey guys, this is Heather McAllister with Easy Life Realty. Uh, today I just wanted to bring you this video on home buying tips. We are, you know, about to get into some multiple offer situations with the mar the way the market is right now. Um, you know, we have a lot of people looking to actually purchase and there's just not a whole lot out there on the market still. Um, and when new listings come on, they're probably going to go pretty quickly. You wouldn't be surprised if it was a multiple offer situation. So what I wanted to do was give you some tips on how to make your offer um, you know, possibly win the home over other um, clients' offers. So, basically, the first uh, tip that I would give you would be to, you know, whenever we're writing up an offer, make sure we have a pre-approval letter that is ready to go be sent over with the offer. It just shows the seller that you're serious about purchasing, that you've checked into everything with your finances, that you have all your ducks kind of in a row for that, and that no surprises are going to come up later on. Uh, the second thing would be to put up more earnest money. Um, you know, typically I do about 1% of the sales price or so as earnest money. You know, you can always bump that up and make it, um, you know, show them that you're more serious and dedicated um, to actually closing on the home with them. Um, you know, and you still have your inspections and appraisals and stuff like that where if anything were to fall through, you get that earnest money back. So, um you know, an another tip really is going to be to either shorten your option period, eliminate the option period, you know, which is really kind of accepting the home as is because it doesn't give you that period of time for an inspection. Um, you know, if you have any contingencies, I would remove those. Um, so the next thing really is going to be to write a personal letter with your offer. Um, it really just kind of hits home and makes them uh, humanize the offer really, uh, makes them kind of want to work with you. Um, versus somebody else's offer and it's going to really pull in their heartstrings to um, show them that you want to make the house into a home that was precious to them you can make it precious to you making memories and stuff like that um, let's see the, the last couple things I guess really is just going to be make sure you're flexible with your close date if the seller needs to stay there extra time after closing you know you can do a temporary lease back um, you know, you close sooner as soon as everything is done with the lender and title company. Let them know that you're flexible, really. Um, and just make sure that it's a good, strong, solid offer overall. Um, you know, let them know that you're flexible, you know, with a couple of different things. If, uh, if that's something that, you know, needs to be worked out, let them know that you're willing to work with them just to get the home. And that's really all I have on that. But um, definitely work with your agent. You know, if you'd like to look at any homes in the Texoma area, please feel free to text me or give me a phone call. My number is 817-319-6126, and I would love to help you. So let's get started, and uh, if you want to share this video, um, we actually will have another contest here for a $25 gift card once we reach 25 shares on Facebook. So share this video. Hope it helps some of you guys out there, and feel free to contact me. I would love to help you with all of your real estate needs. Thanks, guys.